Look, Ma, I'm on top of the world! Hey everyone, Matt Swerk here. You know I'm a local real estate expert right here in Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team powered by Keller Williams Realty. Uh, if this is the first time you come to the channel, welcome. We talk everything about Massachusetts. So you definitely wanna to subscribe to the channel, click that little bell so every time we make a new video, you're gonna get notified. So we talk Massachusetts, everything from eating, sleeping, drinking, playing. Today we're talking about the city of Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh, just remember, if you have questions, we have answers. Reach out to us any way you can. Uh, when it comes to Massachusetts, Remember, we've always got your back. All right, so here we are, we're outside, we're in downtown Lowell, really excited to be in the Mill City. Um, absolutely love mill conversions. Uh, something I'd like to do one day as a real estate investor. Uh, there's so much history here in this city. Uh, as, you, as you'll see some of the names, like you got the, the coffee mill over here. Um, there's the Fuse restaurant, which is a, a local kind of chain, if you will. Uh, the reason I'm bringing those up is there's so much diversity here in this city. Um, as you can, as Tyler kind of pans around, as you can see, very congested, uh, not a lot of parking, right? So that could be some of the challenges as far as why some of the businesses aren't uh, sustainable here uh, because of the constant, uh, you know, we, we fought for a parking space just now. We had to run over, the machine ate my ticket. I don't know, hopefully I don't get any uh, parking tickets. Um, but as you can see, you know, right down the street here, we have an African market. There's a Mexican restaurant, lots of Cambodian <laughs> lots of loud trucks driving by. <laughs> We're in the city, you're gonna get that. If we don't go out to the country, you'll hear cows mooing. Um, we have the, uh, the the famous one, uh, 1981 ramen bar down here. So mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of everything. And um, when I was talking to Tyler, when I pulled up here, we're trying to figure out where, we, where each other were. And I said, hey, I'm right in front of the Lowell Burger Company. And all of a sudden he's like, don't say that. And I said, why, where are you? And he goes, I'm right down the street. And then we heard the story of, um, that was one of Tyler's favorite restaurants. And they had a little bit of a challenge with the city and trying to get a liquor license and then getting hit with some back taxes that was confusing for everybody. Um, and unfortunately, they had to go out of business. So I'm excited though, as you can see across the street, there's like a fried chicken thing place coming. Um, looks really good. So uh, Tyler, I hope you get to check them out. And I know you like chicken wings, so <laughs> maybe we'll have to come back out and hit, hit them up for uh, lunchtime. You're not wrong. Um, this is a really cool place right here. There's a uh, grand opening, Little Delights. Uh, what I love about this is just those uh, those hammock chairs there. As you can see, fresh fresh uh, uh, fresh baked goods in, inside there. So you, you're you know I'm not going to identify every business, but there's so much things going on here. Uh, I love this area again as far as the the um, architecture of this place. This building that's right across from us here. Uh, I'm just, I'm kind of laughing because I'm sure there's some lead paint that's kind of chipping off there, which is not a funny thing. Um, but they're just absolutely beautiful architecture. And as we go through, you'll see some of the buildings. You'll see some of the some more mills. We're going to be hitting some of the we'll be hitting the Merrimack River. Not white water after say it's a little chilly here in Massachusetts, about 50 50 degrees. Um, but this is really fun. This is um, uh, being in downtown low. We, we, we love the community. All right, so we, we wanted to stop at the last safe and deposit. Uh, it just happened to catch my eye as we were walking by. And this is a, this was an old bank at one point in time. All right. Uh, so this was an old bank at one time and it's been converted into a lounge, uh, you know, a specialty um, art music store. So it's a really, really cool place. And these are the, these are the really innovative businesses that take yesteryear, bring in today's flavor, and you just have a really interesting place to check out. So we had, we had to stop and see that place. All right, so we're, we're taking a, we just came off with the, uh, the main road going through, uh, one of the main roads going through Lowell. Uh, we're taking a walk down to Market Street. And uh, one of the things that's really cool about this area, and it reminds me of uh, either the south end or the north end, is that there's a lot of the old cobblestones um, from way back when, uh, you know, the, the history of the, of the country, you, you hear me joke about this in a lot of the videos, you know, of course, like everything started here in Massachusetts. Um, but we have a lot of the, that history from way back when, and our roads are pretty confusing because it was always, uh, it was built on, you know, horse trails. So as you can see, these cobblestones that go in, uh, I don't know how they stay in the ground because they're coming through with the plows and, you know, I, I would expect this whole thing to be eaten up, but 
Uh, that's what a professional plow does. They make sure they don't destroy the cobblestone. So uh, what we love about this area here is that um, this place, you know, it, it's lively now to a degree. You've got some uh, trucks delivering to some of the lo local favorites. Uh, but this place, this is where things get really interesting, especially when there's festivals. Um, there's all there's always things to do in Lowell, and there's a big folk festival that comes. I mean, Google festivals in Lowell, and you could just be you know go down the go down the rabbit hole of the internet, and you'll be there for hours seeing all the things that are here. Um, this place gets absolutely crazy. Um, <laughs> That's Bridie. <laughs> Who's that? That's Bridie. Oh. She's, she was a bartender at Little Burger Company. All right, all right. All right, so, sorry, keep yeah. going. <laughs> so, yeah, Tyler knows everybody here. Um, so, except for this guy walking up. No, I don't know him, no. <laughs> so, we will uh, we'll, we'll tell him he's in the video. So. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, fantastic, man. fantastic. See, people in Massachusetts are really friendly. We don't know that guy. <laughs> That's Let's true. Just check this one out. How you doing? Uh, good on you. I'm doing great, thanks. <laughs> See, everyone's going to smile here, even with their mask on. Um, so, this, um, when the festival is going on, I mean, this, this, just imagine this place is just flooded with people um, and it's you know if you're into the social scene and you like to be around the crowds definitely got to come here on any of the time there's festivals uh, because it, you know it, it's, it can be maddening and of course as you can see right here Lowell has some excellent technology you got the uh, the police on segways so <laughs> yeah you, you, you can't escape the uh, you can't escape the law if you try to run from those guys so it's a, it's a little early in the day to uh, to have a drink, but we wanted to highlight the, this area. All right, so I got squinty eyes because I'm looking at the sun, so I apologize for that. Um, however, if we're, it wouldn't make sense if we turned the camera the other way because we're talking about the uh, Songus Arena here. Uh, to be more specific, the Paul E. Songus Arena. Uh, who's that guy? He's one of our beloved uh, politicians. Uh, he actually uh, ran for the nomination for president years and years ago. Um, did okay, but ended up losing the nomination to, to Bill Clinton. So if you recognize the name, that's where that comes from. So this is specifically I'm not gonna say specifically but the uh, UMass Lowell this is their event center uh, and UMass Lowell as a, as, a, as a university has been around for now we're looking at 127 years as the flags are uh, over my right shoulder so UMass Lowell River Hawks that's their team uh, D1 basketball D1 hockey plays here Tyler was just telling me about some guy that played here won the NCAA championships now he's playing for the Winnipeg Jags, uh, Jets we're talking hockey so uh, Tyler if you want, who, who's the guy Connor Hellebuck all right Connor he's Hellebuck. a big deal all right so he's a big deal um, I'm not I, I played I played defense so I have no I have no uh, business talking about goaltenders <laughs> even though I protected them anyway um, so inside this arena it's <clears throat> great great place as far as seeing sports it's great for concerts uh, a lot of people come here and play and of course because of the fact that the college uh, has this there's a lot of great names that come in and, and there's awesome shows here so uh, what recently Trevor Noah has uh, performed here so it's a great place it's a great venue uh, my family had Riverhawk season tickets for a while so I've spent some time in this building and uh, had lots of fun so this is a great this building has been a great attraction for Lowell all right, so Lowell is going through a lot of changes here. You can see this is Thorndike Street. They're tearing it up and they're changing the way it works. So um, essentially it used to be a weird kind of hybrid rotary. Now they're making it just kind of a straight through road. There's mill number five further over there that we're not gonna get the chance to visit, but mill number five is amazing. We're down on Industrial Ave. Um, as you can hear from the trucks behind me, there's a lot of industry. A lot of industrial uh, activities going on here. We're at the uh, Cross Point Plaza, and um, this used to, there was a lot of uh, business activity that happened here uh, over the years, and some businesses have gone. There's still a lot that's around here. We got the Showcase Cinemas over uh, over my uh, not over my shoulder, but directly in front of me. You have some chain restaurants. There is um, an unbelievable butcher that's right down the street. Um, not Prime. What's it called? Um, Alpine. Alpine. Let's think of Prime. Uh, Alpine Butcher, one of the best. Uh, butchers in the in the area so that's uh that's personal opinion especially right out of Tyler Tyler's mouth uh, almost said it again so yeah Tyler <laughs> all right so one of the best um, okay yeah and that's personal opinion that's one of Tyler's uh, favorite places is that butcher so uh, definitely gotta go check that out because he's got great taste in food so um, what's interesting about this building here we did a we did a video a couple months ago talking about the the businesses in Massachusetts, and we have a lot of we have a lot of businesses here. We have a lot of headquarters, 
Um, there's a Verizon inside this headquarters, inside this building. But this is, we call it, well, we used to call it the Kronos building, building right? Uh, Kronos is gone now. It's the UKG. Uh, I love their logo. It's this like little smiley face. Uh, it stands for the ultimate Kronos group. And what do they do? They do HR and, um, and, and um, work system management. So whatever that is, they do it at a really high level. Uh, they bring a lot of jobs to the area. And I was actually on their website earlier just doing some research. And you know, if you need a job, go check out, uh, not Kronos, the UKG. Um, so this is just a uh, another uh, aspect of Lowell. Like I said, there's a lot of industrial buildings, but there's a lot of business. There's a lot of business in Lowell to begin with in the first place. And downtown is a little bit of a challenge because of the parking. Uh, this area, there's parking all over the place, so uh, very easy to get in and out of here. You know, you have a lot of the big the big box stores are around the corner. Like I said, chain restaurants, a lot of local places as well. So uh, this is just a, a little bit of a different aspect as far as. Um, of Lowell is concerned. I was laughing because we were coming from one side to the other side. It was literally 3.1 miles. It took us, what, I think like 17 minutes to get yeah. here. So, yeah. uh, and we had some interesting construction that we didn't want to hit, but we hit, and it is what it is. All right, so we're over at one of the, uh, we're at the South Campus as far as UMass Lowell. Uh, UMass Lowell, big, 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 yeah, big deal here as far as Lowell is concerned. Um, as far as the college, big attraction, uh, part of the university system of Massachusetts. It's interesting because um, we have a we have a lot of universities in Massachusetts, and it's very typical. And I'd say this is probably you know across the country. I'll make this statement that some of the locals don't get overly excited about the college um, or, or about colleges because typically they want as a business they want to expand and when they expand they're buying more land they're taking over you know properties and some people don't like that however uh, for the good of the community you know they're, they're not kicking people out of their houses to, to get the land uh, but you know to really to make an impact on the community you know they want to expand and they put a lot of money back into the local economy so uh, very important to note that uh, UMass Lowell has been growing over over the years uh, just doing some some great things for this community and the, it's, it's really impressive it's the campus is spread out and it's it, it's great so all right can you hear that yeah there's not a lot going on right so this you're like what, what happened Did we change cities no we're still in Lowell right we are in the Pawtucketville section of Lowell um, definitely a little quieter even though we're on a main road so you might still hear some tractor uh, semi tractor trailers going down the, the street but we're not in the tight um, hustle and bustle as far as the different city environments that we've that we've been in um, and that's what makes this a little bit more desirable it has more of that suburban feel to it so as we have a car go by but behind me you got a uh, you got rolling uh, farm here uh, which I always get excited about I'm a big guy no offense to anyone but I'm a huge Christmas fan I love Santa Claus um, and so I, we were psyched to be able to park across the street from the Christmas tree farm and see what's going on there and a little sad I see a sign over my back shoulder that says no tractor rides due to COVID-19 so that's pretty sad <laughs> um, but yes we are on the main road here um, this is a great <coughs> Lola is great in general but this area is really um, I don't want to say secluded, but like I said, it's a little more peaceful. Uh, right down the street, we have a, this is a uh, state forest. We're right on the Tingsboro line. So, besides, besides those large, loud, loud cars going by, um, this, is, uh, this is kind of what you get here. So, uh, as you can see, you know, we'll talk a little bit as far as the real estate's concerned. You know, because of the city area, the city environment, there's a lot of multifamilies, uh, or as, I think people from outside the area call multifamily dwellings, uh, duplexes and triplexes. We call them multifamilies here. Uh, we do call the two families a, a, a duplex, but we don't. Call, there's no triplexes. But we have a, a lot of those buildings, so that's where you have a lot of people packed into a, a small area. Um, and as you can see, these houses are uh, definitely a little more spread out. Probably, I'd say, and this might not seem like a lot of land, but you have, you know, maybe a. Uh, half acre of property uh, which is a lot of land for being in the city right so growing up in Quincy like a quarter acre was pretty standard for us so as you can see like that's a pretty big property here they got a big three-car garage um, that's probably that might be three quarters of an acre as far as property is concerned so you have more space here people like the fact that you can live in the city but they can be away from all the the hustle and bustle of downtown still get in and out of downtown pretty easily 
before Lowell, uh, as we saw some of the traffic. Um, and again, as far as accessibility to uh, going up north into New Hampshire and, and New England, uh, pretty easy. And then yeah. also uh, getting down to Boston as well. So Lowell's a great uh, location as far as accessibility to the city and, and kind of that gateway up into New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're standing. Uh, we're kind of standing in front of the Sampus Arena. Or, I'm sorry, the Sampus uh, Pavilion. Uh, this place was actually built in 1976 to celebrate um, big events for the country, and they said, "Let's build this cool pavilion." This is like a community pavilion. So they, you name it, it's been here. Uh, we were just talking about stories about. Uh, there's been yoga classes there. We were talking about um, they had this uh, interesting event where they had some bikers come and there was a biker event and this whole thing was lined up with uh, motorcycles and it was just a like a networking event for bice bikies, bikies, right? So <laughs> for the bikies, uh, which is kind of weird, right? Because I think networking events dressed up with a suit and a tie. Uh, but you know what? Just hanging out with people that are passionate about what they do. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is, any type of net networking. So this is probably my my favorite, I don't want to say my favorite part about Lowell. Um, however, I have a big draw towards water growing up on, uh, in Quincy. And, and I, I was just waiting for us to stop here uh, to take the video because I just have this different connection, this, this different feeling, even though this is not ocean water, uh, this is river water. And this is the, the mighty Merrimack River. Um, you know, if this river could talk, it would tell stories, of course. Um, they probably wouldn't be good ones because all the water that went down street, never mind. So anyway, uh, bad dad joke. So the, um, yeah, there's been a, a lot of uh, history here as far as all the textiles and all the mills. Uh, this was the main form of transportation uh, and, and delivery way back when. And then uh, of course we got into hydropower and using the river to, to create uh, electricity. So um, just a very, very calm, peaceful place. There you can walk, you know, a lot of the river, you know, on these nice sidewalks, and it's just a, as you can, as you see around me and behind me, just a beautiful, beautiful place to, to hang out, and you see a lot of people stopping and taking lunch and just relaxing. And um, on the weekends, you know, this place is pretty busy from people just enjoying the outdoor weather, and even in the winter time. And yes, the Merrimack does freeze to a degree, so um, you'll see people out there playing on thin ice, which is not a good, not a good uh, equation. So. Thin plus ice equals danger. That's my that's my uh, safety tip for today. So there you go. Added value of being safe on the river. <laughs> All right, so we hope you enjoyed our little trip through Lowell. Um, it, it could have been a really big trip, and this video could have been probably three weeks long. Uh, it's difficult to pinpoint so many great features of a city and show you so many cool things. Uh, but, you know, definitely when it comes to anything with Massachusetts and even New England sometimes and New Hampshire, as you've seen, um, you know, if you're looking to relocate, you have questions, you're looking to move here, you want to just know about some things that are that are happening in the, in the areas, uh, definitely reach out to us. You can choose, your, you know, pick your point poison of the way you want to get in touch with us we'll get back to you as quick as we can we got new systems to to make sure we can service you at a high level and just remember when it comes to massachusetts we've always got your back